Hello YouTube and welcome back into some Let's Play Civilization 6 with Poundmaker. Uh, we're settling late cities, which is a thing that I've been doing more and more, uh, for better or for worse. We're about to finish this harbor. I would like to get a plus three theater square after that. We'll let it lock in naturally next turn. We've got builders going out and around doing stuff. We were thinking a uh, suggestion came in for maybe Cheechin here. Uh, and I think you can get down with that. I can get down with the Cheechin. Seems decent. Uh, Mr. Rikas, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Um, what else? We've got our mausoleum. We've got our pyramids. That's good. We've got seven charge builders coming out of Liang over here. Uh, I have this sad tile. Whatever. It's just a tile. Let it go. Let it go. Um, and then I want a Rurvit city to start growing. I want to get a builder down here to improve this. Um, but we can force that to grow now. And then finish the granary soon and grow even more. So that'll be good. Maybe this is the builder that can come and help. Last charge on that. Yeah, it's okay. Go all the way there. Um. All right. So then. Yeah, I think we're I think we're probably gonna go into space, Sarge, at this point. Uh Mr. Kikamba, welcome in. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. Or the uh, the sub, the brand new did I say follow? What is with my brain today? Thank you so much for the brand new sub. Uh and welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. What else do we want to be doing here? I guess nothing. Uh, promotion. So we have two governor titles available. Do we want to bring in Pingala now? Um, we're at eight of 11. I guess we let this finish. And then switch it civil service. We're almost actually at this Eureka as well. So that'll bo boost our mecha womps. And then because we're heading this way, maybe we continue well, on to done. guilds. I would rub my finances feet while we would watch your YouTube channel every night. Now she is obsessed with Civ. That's Thanks amazing. For all the great content. I assume you meant fiance, in which case congratulations are in order. That's amazing. And Pappy, thank you so much for the 777. That is awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate the support. And uh, yeah, that's 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 so cool. TGM is, is a wholesome family entertainment. That That's just true, right? Um, I think it's Pingala time, especially if we're going to take this into space race territory. I've got campuses here. I'm not going to really be able to chop a lot of this if we're going to go Chichen. I think I like this. Pingala. And then Pingala... Probably culture side first. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Jacob with the 10 months. Dude, thank you so much for the prime. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> Have more dollar, dollar, dollar. Thank you. I appreciate that a whole lot, Jacob. Welcome on back to the shop. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> so now we're working on our theater square there. That's going to be plus three, which will be good. Hey, Les, how you doing? <laughs> um, okay, so tech tree wise, we're at apprenticeship. So we actually can get our industrial zone going. Um, we can maybe do multiple if we want, but definitely in the River Valley City. Uh, I suppose I need to go unlock aqueducts because the River Valley City needs that as well. I'm going to start paying a lot of attention to that. Can you explain why you took culture instead of science here? Yes, I can. Um, because we are sort of meandering our way to our next major government and this is a huge break point we're also we've also spent some time to build quality campuses already and keeping keeping these somewhat uh even is good in fact a lot of space race victories start with um start with with being culture first um so that's a strategy that can work for them um and yeah i just i would much prefer a, a little bit of a culture boost we'll get the science one Happy too Maya 14. it's close 
It's close. Abba, thank you so much for the 13 months. Welcome on back with that prime side as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I'm thinking, all right, so this city is pop nine. They're never going to be outstanding. They're not even working like these tiles. We're just working heavy food here, which isn't amazing. And I do want to move Liang up here soon, but not quite yet. We just want to do that as soon as possible. Scotland will be our scientific like challenger in this game. He's already quite ahead of us in a lot of different aspects. Persia has a huge military, but he's he's across the pond, so whatevs. Do I bother doing this? Honestly, the housing here isn't bad because the lighthouse gives us better food tiles and then we can just grow into all of this awesome production. Uh, we'll also have marsh clears to get that. I don't hate this, actually. And I'm going to hard tech this. I don't think I'm going to bother getting walls. I don't, I don't feel like immediately threatened at all. Time will be starting on Saturday, um, somewhere near the normal time, I think. Is Kilwa gone? Um, I don't think we've unlocked Kilwa quite yet. No problem, Les. Yep, we will get an archer for them. <laughs> Once again, it looks this looks like Congo to me, and it's throwing me off <laughs> that they have a holy site. It's very odd. them an archer to clean up this mess and then just lock in this plus four harbor we can go up there they'll probably need an archer as well but we've got pretty good gold So if we don't miss Chichen, we can chop up all this good stuff, but or if we do miss Chichen, we can chop up all this stuff. But if we if we get Chichen here, we obviously we're gonna be doing lumber mills and things. Um so that's fine. Circumnavigate first to do so.
can probably chop that for them and get that uh, get this stuff going on. I think so too, Gingerbeard. I li I like that uh, plus five combat strength close to your cities. That's pretty sweet. Maya, you won't have a lot of incentive to conquer either because they're going to have terrible campuses for anyone who's tanking them over, right? Uh, Kim, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. I got my Eureka for 10 pop, so that's good. Build two markets. There's one coming. That's it for now, though. It's a little sad. We're definitely more harbor based we already circumnavigated actually we got this we got close enough to have this one man's ma it's all papers and form I know I need to try it backstab averse everyone everyone's clamoring for me to check out old world so I I will at some point Have you chill for a second. So then this is this city. Or this city. And we need one more settler. Let's just get it. Yeah, let's just get it. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, all right. So 7 of 11. We have a little ways to go before we can start the Chijin. So what do we want to be building in the meantime? Um, I mean, the water mill is okay-ish. It'll give us a little production back. What's this? You made this. What is it? Ooh, it shows the optimal Maya layout for most cities. Although it's not loading for me. Do that. There it is. Nice. All right. Let's look at this. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cities. Reduce the maximum below nine. Cool. Not, so nine city. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then that's 10 with your cap. Is that right? Nice, nice job, dude. That. Thank you very much. Uh, that links in chat for anybody who wants it. Cool. Cool. Thank you so much, Judith. That's that's awesome. That's good work. That is good work, my friend. Here says 13 possible cities. What is this? <laughs> I don't know. I don't see a picture on that one, you guys. Post that stuff in the Civ chat. I'll check it out as I can.
I am pretty happy to trade away my iron. How's our how are our relationships? Not great. It's gonna be a great year for Civ players, no doubt about that. I'm excited about it. So I assume everyone's going to have turtles. Not so much. I'll be happy to trade away more, too, if we can get that in. Seven from him. He's got him. He's got him. I will trade this knowing that we'll, we'll easily get more turtles very soon. So that's a little bit better for food. Yeah, I like that as well. And then I need to start clearing these things. Don't know that I can do anything else around here. You're not... How, how do you think you're getting through that? Uh... Really? This is the way of the future, huh? <laughs> Come on. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. Three turns on that. Stop hating on our path. I'm sorry. Defend this then, Carl. Defend this. <laughs> we love you. I, I don't mean to pick. I, I I hope you're never bummed out that we're that we tease. I, I I don't I would never want anyone to feel bad. Fleet, meh. Uh, Wired Ian? Wired Ian. Wired Ian. Welcome in, Wired Ian. Okay, good. Um, okay. I don't know what other districts I'm going to put in there with them, but... Don't really know if I want to buy more archers. I mean, I, I see you looking at the Eureka there, and I understand it, but I'd have to buy two for it, although it might be worth it to do so here. Yeah, okay, fine. So let's start with Monument. Yeah, Blue Fire. <laughs> No one else seems to be really coastal. Like that's why I was I was really open to the uh, doing some frigate domination here. But if you look at like almost every city, it's just off the coast. Like that one makes sense. It's on a river, right? Like I, I'm not even criticizing anything here. I'm just saying that that's that's how this went on a river, just not on coast. Like not on coast, not on a river. Um, but yeah, like there there wouldn't be that much coastal stuff to go on. So I really don't know how many uh, how many harbors are out there. 
It's not very many. Um, Scotland's rocking 13 scientist points per turn. Georgia's doing quite well in that department as well. Uh, we're only at two so far. So getting some of the buildings and other campuses going would make sense. Um, yeah. Friggin' nomination. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, battleships would have a better shot at it. But it's really, it, it gets tough with naval domination when you can't actually take any coastal cities. More barbs. I'll buy the next archer first. I just feel like we've done a lot of domination recently, and I'm not like really wanting to force it here. Although it's not a terrible option. We are building a water mill. That's done next turn, so that Eureka works well. The double... I don't even have a second commercial hub, so we're just hard-teching guilds at the moment. Eventually, we will. Yeah, Poundmaker can end a space. My body. Create with the heart. them some housing and then here's maybe where we want our third archer so we get machinery we can look at Kilwa if it's even still available so Chichen in four here maybe grab the library real quick Zanzibar would like another trade route so they're going to get the crabs or actually the stone probably yes the stone the stone the stone lighthouse first and then maybe mm, I don't know not outstanding we'll see Mohenjo, that's a find. That's a find for this map. What's your uh, courser? I don't really want to do that. Seventy-four of eighty-five for a golden. So did we clear out all the barbs over here? It looks like it. And then this is my last settler for now. Okay. Where to? Universities, if we're going to make this a space race, that makes sense. Um, what if I'm, I'm sure we've missed some good scientists, but nobody amazing quite yet besides Hypatia. Hello, Petro. Okay.
What a weird sieve the Maya is. I I, th I like it. I like unique sieves. I like I like seeing you know. I, I like specialty sieves. I think they're fun. So yeah, she she's a, she's an odd duck, but but uh but 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 a beautiful duck. All right, so last settler, and then we're switching governors. Because I want Liang in the cap. Oh, wait. Let's get this last fishery first. Poundmaker here, maybe. And then uh, Pingala makes sense there, although we need to get them at Theater Square. Seems okay. How do I conquer city states? Not not very often since the uh, change to give them walls. I heard you like tens of dollars. <laughs> you know that that rumor is out there, and uh, I, I'm not gonna argue with it. I'm not gonna argue with it. Bozzy, thank you so much for the thousand bits. I do enjoy tens of dollars. <laughs> it's one of my favorite increments of dollars. <laughs> thank you, buddy. I appreciate you. So I want to do this. I do want the aqueduct first. Uh, but forcing them to grow some, I think, is okay. Because this is going to make this... Well, the, the lighthouse will make this better. So now we're doing a little bit better. I do want this aqueduct. We can lock in this industrial zone. But first, let's get the lighthouse. I really want Mohenjo. They're also a first time Suze if we can get it. Mercenaries is more envoy shenanigans. So we have, and it's land units, right? So I have two, I have five. So I need three more. chill for a second and what was this again oh yeah courser oh right a courser Is it your first time in stream? Welcome in, Petro. I appreciate you. Thanks for the YouTube channel. Really fun, especially when you get hardcore countered by the other civs like the Macedonia game. Absolutely. I'm glad you enjoyed that one, too. That's one of my favorites for sure. Uh, and, and yeah, thank you so much. Thanks for coming into the live stream. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. <laughs> one of us, one of us. It's absolutely true. It's the cult of TGM. Well, I've made a huge mistake. Those are some pretty nice tiles. My man. Oh, I guess I could have you be one of these, huh? Yeah, fine. Yeah, fine. 
Uh, Beowulf, thanks for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Are you not down here yet? Taking your sweet time. Uh, okay, so once again, we get to this and Chichen's gone. I really don't remember seeing that pop up, but that's okay. That means we can just chop up the rest of this. Um, what do we want to chop it up for is going to become the question. I honestly would not mind um, squeaking out just our mercenaries boost. And then maybe try to figure out a wonder that they could work on. So we have two districts. We can get our third. Also, traders are good, though. Yeah, I think we're going to... We're, 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 we're getting close to just committing to science. That's a good food tile now. We can just hang out. Okay. I can't make it any horsemen or coursers. I don't have horses. I will soon. This Coliseum 115. Um, all right. So then that's we need what one more. I'll just go with the cheapest possible, which is just another one of these. It's fine. Right. Wait, is that not our boost? Three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, we need one more. Lame. Okay, one more. So long term, I need this city to grow. So I'm happy working this farm, even though this is a much better tile for now. There's the uh, Chichen. The pur purpose of education. Fun with barbs per use per use. Pens. And then I want this industrial zone to be a plus four when we build it, so we need to make sure that that is a thing.
It's just the city's ice school. The the uh, the tiles outside of that six uh, tile radius for Maya um, are fine. It'll be the city centers that affect that bonus. At least that's my interpretation. All right, governors are all established now, which means Liang can start getting fisheries. And this city can grow up to pop 15. Did the stream volume go down? Did it? Is there a problem with the stream? Check, check. Check, check, mic check. Ha, ha. Uh, you already have this. It's quiet. Um, weird. Weird. I'll try to talk more directly into the mic. I don't, yeah, I, I can't really bump into anything. My, my mixer is like over there. It's just chilling. So I don't really what? understand. Sorry, everybody. The, um, I don't know. I just don't know. All right, there's my mercenaries boost. Four trade routes is definitely going to happen. <laughs> Did my puppy. I don't have a puppy. I don't have a puppy, and you know that. My man. As much as I want one. Duff time. Thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate it. No puppy yet. I mean, I appreciate that optimism. Did I not lock this in? Ooh, silly goose. Lock that in. Duff time, he's very good. I like Poundmaker. He's a fun, he's a fun sort of directionless sieve, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. He just has strong early game shenanigans. What I say makes him strong, just general, like, early era score. Um, like, basically, in Civ Six, snowballing early. The earlier you can start snowballing your own abilities and your ability to economize over the AI and out-tech them, the better, right? And you just have some abilities to do that. You have some tall mechanics. You have an extra trade route and a free trade route, which is pretty huge. Um, some better internal trade routes. A tile improvement that gives you housing plus production and gold. These are all good things, right? Like, you can take these and just have solid cities and then have them do whatever you want, uh, which is really good. Fine. Again, full housing out of these is great. I eventually want to get that courser for the quest, and then we put in Diplo League, right? So first time Suze of Mohenjo. Hopefully they don't die. Uh, Mohenjo, like we're gonna have, we already have tall uh, housing mechanics, and this is just gonna exacerbate all of it. Housing capped here, though, 4 of 5. But 5 of 12 here, which is great. How many scouts do you usually go with him? Uh, you should usually go probably 3 or 4 scouts with him, but we only went 1 in this game. It's because we didn't have that much land. We just kind of had that inclination based on how much um, C was around us that we weren't really going to get too far with those. So, unfortunately, we only went for a couple in this game. What am I chopping out here? It's a wonder we could get you guys. Kill was gone. Hmm. 
Hmm. Mohenjo with Maya. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Who are the chariots for? The chariots for, for the mercenaries boost and the, to maybe come help with the barb situation. What's up, Sacrador? How you doing? There's more wonder shenanigans. Few inventions have been so. Uh, uh, Sil Silvex. I know it says it that way, but it doesn't actually have to have water to get to get the um, Mohenjo bonus. I, the The description says gets housing from water, but it it just gets the housing. Does not have to have any water whatsoever. At least the way it's currently iterated. You did a settler difficulty China game and got Stonehenge stolen from you. That's that's pretty painful. That would be like that would be like trying to settle a city that is going to build Golden Gate Bridge for you and having it get raised by barbs. That's how bad that feels. Not that I would know. I'm going to throw a wonder or two here. That seems okay. <laughs> Did that happen? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Sound is back. Okay, that's weird. That's weird, Nunya. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm sorry if there are sound issues. Suddenly loud again? All right. Well, I, I don't know what to do. I haven't done anything. Really sorry. Do I feel like Colossus is a strong wonder? Uh, No, I don't. I don't at all. Uh, But... I like building wonders. They're fun. But like think about think about building the Colossus early in the game versus building like building a builder that is also eventually going to get you a trader out capacity, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So, I don't know. Puppy. I don't I I really don't understand you guys. All of my connections are tight. They real tight. All right, um, uh, let's go ahead and wrap this video up in the tightest of fashions. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys are watching over on YouTube, I do appreciate it. And don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash thegamemechanic. And come say hi to us in person on the internet. We'll see you then.